So let's say he comes in, it occurs, he's seen right in your institution initially, and you get the call and this is, there's been no attempt at the reduction. What, what are you telling your residents? Are you telling them to try to reduce it? I mean, because we can, we all know these are difficult to get reduced. Yeah, I, I am. Um, I think the key is having a relationship with your ER and making sure there's appropriate sedation. So I'd say if there are two main keys from my standpoint, they've got to be down, like really down. I prefer them to slug them with, with propofol to where basically I know they're down enough when I, I the way I test it, I just squeeze their foot really hard. And if they flinch at all, then they're not down enough in order to be able to try and reduce this. Then their knee's got to be really, really bent. So you bend their knee, you hyperflex their knee, and then you try and reduce this with just uh, kind of gross manipulation. But I think the importance is a lot of propofol and, and a bent knee and a really good solid attempt at reduction.